So from time to time, I get something really cool sent to me uh, by friends or clients. In this case, it's my friend Scott at Destination Homes who sent me just about the coolest thing I've ever seen. When I score a goal, doesn't happen often, but when I score a goal now in hockey, it'll be special because of this. Oh, yeah. So is there a preferred order in which you ask your discovery questions? Hmm, let's talk about it. Hey, Jeff Shoreback with you. I got a, a question from a client of ours. We teach a process for home sales. It's called the 4-2 sales process. If you don't sell homes and you're watching, don't worry about this. This will still make sense. But but we, we teach the 4-2 sales process and you need to know that in order to understand the question. So here's the question. Uh, is uh, we understand the 4-2 sales process. In front of a real customer, however, my salespeople will sometimes jump ahead and jump around with their own questions. How important is it that the 4-2 is done in the designated sequence? Sometimes this is a challenge. Seems to me the point is to get the information and that the order is a secondary concern. It's a great point. I agree with you to some extent that the order is not the most important, but there are a couple of things to keep in mind. The first is this, there is one question that rises above all others in regards to what is most important, and that is the motivation question. There is nothing more important to understand about a customer than why they are thinking about buying in the first place. So when we jump around, especially when we jump around to product spe specific questions about size, about price, about timing, this is all about what the customer is moving to. I want to know what the customer is coming from. In fact, if I understand what they're coming from, if I understand their current dilemma, what's going on in their life right now, then I oftentimes do not have to answer all the, or ask all of those further questions. So one of the concerns here is that we have see, we, I see salespeople who ask simply too many questions. They're asking all kinds of questions because they never figured out the motivation. But if you understand why somebody is thinking about buying in the first place, if you understand the core of that and the emotion behind that, then what you're gonna find is that you may not have to ask all of those other questions. So listen, am, am I? is it critical that we're staying exactly in the right order? No, I don't wanna get so heavily scripted on this, but it is best. It's the best way to do this, but in any event, start with that motivation question. Make sure you're asking that question very, very early in the process. I'm telling you right now, it's a game changer. When you don't understand the motivation question, everything else is, is missing that context. But when I do understand, why are they thinking about buying in the first place? Then all of those other questions make so much more sense. Let's weave that into the conversation. Let's weave it very, very early into that process. And if you're a real estate professional, if you've not been to our 42 Formula Academy, boy, you are going to love this. Uh, it's a three-day academy to take a deep dive on the way that we can sell a home, how we make it easy for people to buy. It is revolutionary. It is transforming. Those who have attended the 42 Formula Academy have reported immediate and dramatic uh, results in their sales pace. So you can go to jeffshore.com slash events and learn more about our 4-2 Academy.